The days of tax-free online shopping could soon be over. In a 5-4 decision, the Supreme Court ruled states can force online shoppers to pay sales tax. A lot of uncertainty uh, right now, both for consumers, businesses, and state tax authorities, because they have to figure out what exactly they're going to do, how to comply, who has to comply. Before the explosion of Internet shopping, the high court ruled in 1992 an online retailer only had to collect sales tax if it had a physical presence in the state. But in 2016, South Dakota sued online retailers Wayfair and Overstock for the estimated $50 million a year the state said it was losing in sales tax revenue. We don't know what exactly is going to happen. This was about South Dakota's laws. Uh, other states might do it differently. In the majority opinion, Justice Anthony Kennedy wrote, each year the physical presence rule becomes further removed from economic reality. In the dissenting opinion, Chief Justice John Roberts warned that collecting state sales taxes could harm a vibrant e-commerce marketplace and said it was a matter best left to Congress. Wayfair said it appreciated the clarity provided by the ruling. The online retailer added it already collects and remits sales tax on approximately 80% of our orders in the United States. And it does not expect today's decision to have any noticeable impact on our business. Mola Lange, CBS News, the Supreme Court.